Good morning dear students. Welcome to our computer class. In this video, we are going to learn about three computers that are invented after Mark 1 calculator. In that, first one is ANIAC computer. Let's discuss in detail about ANIAC. This is the picture of ANIAC. The full form of ANIAC is Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. This is the first general purpose computer invented by John Mowkley and J. Prosper Eckert in 1946. It was 1000 times faster than the Mark I calculator. It could add two large numbers in 200 microseconds. The next computer system invented after ENIAC is EDWARD, which we learned before when we learn about John von Neumann. Let's see the picture of EDWARD. Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer. That's a full form of EDWARD. EDWARD is developed by, that we learn already, John von Neumann, Prosper Eckert, and John Mowkley. The next computer system invented after Edwalk is yeah, Univark 1. Let's see in detail about Univark 1. Univark 1, the full form of Univark 1 is Universal Automatic Computer 1. It is designed by J. Prosper Eckert and John Mowgli in 1951. Then, it is the first commercially available computer. First computer to handle both numeric and text data. And it is the first computer to use buffer memory and magnetic tape unit. These are the three computer devices we have learned now. ENIAC, EDWARC and UNIVARC 1. Next, we are going to discuss about generation of computers. The term generation refers to how hardware and software have evolved over time. Between 1940 to 1956, we had the first generation of computers, which used thousands of vacuum tubes. Second generation of computers came between the year 1956 to 1963. The computers in this generation were used transistors. Third generation was between 1964 to 1971. Fourth generation is started from 1972. And the last one is fifth generation which will be based on artificial intelligence. Let's discuss in detail about the first generation of computers between 1940 to 1956. First generation of computers used vacuum tubes. For data input, they used punch cards and paper tapes. In this generation, the systems given output as printouts. Magnetic tapes were used as external storage devices. The languages in first generation computers were machine languages and assembly languages. The example for computers in this generation are Univoc, ANIAC and EDVOC. Second generation of computers came between the years 1956 to 1963. They used transistors and for data input the systems used punch cards and paper tape and output as given as printout. Magnetic tapes were used for external storage and the languages they were used are Fortran, COBOL, BASIC, PL1. The examples for system in this generation are IBM 1400 and 700 series IBM 350. In the third generation of computers, they were used integrated circuit or IC, data were input through keyboard and the output were given through monitors. They used magnetic disk as external storages and the languages used were Pascal, Fortran, COBOL. Example for computer system in third generation are IBM System 360, Apple 1, Altair. 
In the fourth generation of computers from 1972, they use microprocessors, and for data input they use keyboard, mouse, scanner, etc. And for data output they use monitor, printer, speaker, etc. They use magnetic disk with higher capacity as external storage. The systems in fourth generation were used special software maintaining RDBMS, C++, etc. The example for the system in fourth generation are Cray 1 by 2, Apple 2, Wax 9000. In the last fifth generation of computers are using artificial intelligence. In this generation, optical fiber technology is using for data input. The systems in this generation can understand human speech and can recognize face and other complex images. Robotic technologies are comes under this fifth generation of computers. Dear students, in this video, first we have learned about three computers: Anya, Edward, and Univac One. Then we learn about the five generations of computers. Thank you.